a real battery is not just an electromotive force. We can model a real 1.5 volt battery as a 1.5 volt electromotive force in series with a resistor, as shown in the figure 23.54. A typical battery has a 1 ohm internal resistance due to imperfections that limit current through the battery. When there's no current through the battery, when there's no voltage drop across the internal resistance, the potential difference between the terminals is 1.5 volts. With the value of the EMF. Suppose the, and the idea behind why that is, is because voltage equals I times R, Ohm's law. If I equals zero, that implies the change in voltage across the resistor is also zero. So that's what they mean by then, the, therefore, there's no voltage drop. The value of the EMF, suppose the terminals of the battery are connected to a 2 ohm resistor. What is the potential difference across the terminals of the battery? Okay, and then what fraction of the power is dissipated? So we're going to start by drawing a picture. I know they have a picture. I'm going to draw my own. Hope, hope. Resistor, resistor, bow. And the first resistor is part of the internal battery. So you can think of this as the battery. So this is one. This is two, and those are ohms. Nope, yes. And this is 1.5. And we want to know what's the potential difference delta V from here to there. So to do that, we're going to find um, the voltage drop across the first resistor. So to do that, we're going to start by um, finding the current coming out of the battery. So Combining one and, uh, one and two, they are one and two ohm resistors, and they are in series, so we combine them by just adding them. So one plus two is three, this is 1.5. Current equals voltage divided by resistance, which is the opposition to flow of the current. Voltage is 1.5, resistance is three. 1.5 divided by three is one half, or 0.5 amps. Yep, I'm good with that. So now we go back to our original picture. So we're going to say that here is zero. This is going to be 1.5 volts. Then the voltage drop across our resistor is going to be V equals I R. We know the current coming out is one half. We know the resistance is one, V equals I R. So the voltage drop is going to be one half. And so the Voltage at this point is going to be 1.0 volts. I could just probably write 1 volt, but same idea. And then we know on the other side of 2, we could take this wire, follow it back the other direction, and we get 0 volts here. So that is... So what is the potential difference between the terminals of the battery? So delta V is going to be 1 minus 0. So delta V battery... It's going to be 1 minus 0, which I'm just going to say 1 volt. So the voltage across the terminals drops from 1.5 volts to 1 volt when we hook it up to a 2 ohm resistor. So now um, they want to know the power dissipated by the internal resistance. So power, there's different uh, formulas for power. Power equals IV. I squared R and V squared over R. So I'm going to do I. Let's see. I is one half amp. So I'm going to use I squared R. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the math will be the same because we know everything. I'm going to use I squared R. So power one is going to be I squared R. Current is one half, so it's going to be one half squared times the resistance, which is one. So the power dissipated is going to be one fourth watt um, for the first resistor. True, yes, I'm good at that. And power to the second one, I squared R again. So since they are in series, they are going to have the same current passing through them. But this time, it's going to be 2 is the um, resistance. So this is going to be 2 fourths 
And so what fraction of the battery's power, so this is the power dissipated by the resistors. This power has to be supplied by the battery. So the power battery is just going to be power one plus power two, which is going to be three fourths. And so then it asks, all right, what fraction is dissipated by the battery's internal resistance? This is just going to be a ratio, power one divided by power battery, which is going to be um, one fourth, because that's the internal resistance. That's the power dissipated by the internal resistance divided by three fourths. Dividing fractions is the same as multiplying by the reciprocals. And the ratio we get is one third. One third of the power generated, created by the battery, delivered by the battery, is dissipated in the internal resistance of said battery. So, kind of to recap what we did here, um, we started by redrawing the circuit in terms of one battery, one resistor by using equivalent resistances. We found the current. Since these are in series, both resistors will have the same current going through them. Um, and that gave us, and then we could use that to find the potential drop across the resistor. And then we looked at, we drew on the diagram, the various voltages at various points. And we found that the voltage across the uh, terminals of the battery, including, you know, looking at this as the whole battery, was one volt minus zero volts, which is just one volt. We then looked at the powers, and since we already knew the current going through each resistor, and we knew the resistances of the resistor, we could just use I squared R. You can, when we rewrite the uh, power formula, we're just using Ohm's law, not a big deal. And then we just did some math, and it worked out, and we found one third. So, hope that helped. See you next time.